What's up guys, welcome back to Dude Ranch DIY. My name is Jake. Today we're gonna be taking the new Bauma Light Mini Skid Steer out on its first paying job. I'm excited to see how it does. So here we got the Bauma Light TRL 620D Mini Skid Steer. We got a Martach log grapple for it, as well as a smoothed edged bucket. At this job, I already have two other attachments that I've rented that should help facilitate in getting this job done a little bit easier. Let's hit the road. Just hold it. This is cool. That's a gimbal. <laughs> You're gonna go nonstop all day. All right, guys, we're here at my boss Joe's house. He's a good buddy. You've seen him in the videos. He's a beast of a tree climber. And uh, as you can see here, we got the Bomalite Mini Skid Steer with a post hole digger auger that we rented, as well as a rock hammer. Now, Joe, what are we doing here today? All right, guys, I did this section of the fence over the summer with a hand auger and there is a lot of rock on this property as you can see and it was very tough. So hopefully the Balma Light saves the day today but the plan is we're probably gonna get about 15 or so holes blown out so I can do my fence post and I'm gonna get eventually get the fence all the way down. But we do have a lot, you can see that giant pile of rocks down there so I have a feeling we are gonna need that chipping hammer. Yeah. And. Uh, then I also have a bunch of rock to chip in the back. Yeah, so we brought, we got the auger, we got the hammer, I also brought the Martach grapple and the bucket. So we're gonna do some work here today. We're gonna- I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see how the grapple is gonna do with some rocks, because I have some big rock that I cannot move by hand that I have to get, I have to do something with it. So we'll see how this does. Yeah, it, I high hopes. it should be pretty good. It opens up pretty big and kind of clamps down. So as long as the rocks, are bigger than those two gaps on the bottom teeth should be pretty good but I'm really excited to see how this machine performs with uh, the auger and the rock hammer and we're just gonna get going here and get as much done as we can Oh, yeah. 
right, we went as deep as we could on that one. It seemed like we were hitting some rock. Obviously, there's a lot of rock around here. So, try our luck with the next one over here. Right there. All right, guys, we just tried Joe's hand auger there, like the two-man gas-powered auger, and we are hitting rock down at the bottom. Um, so we're hitting rock in this hole and this hole, so we're gonna swap out the auger for the mini rock hammer over there and give that thing a try. Sounds like rock. Yep. So we're kind of making progress. You can see, you know, it's definitely chipping up some rock and, you know, breaking it so that I'm able to pull it out by hand. But we got a huge rock here.
Alright guys, this is about how far we've gotten. You can see all just solid rock. Started pulling out lots of big chunks, pieces and stuff. I'm gonna call this hole good for now. Joel will just have to pack it full of concrete. Now we're gonna go back over to this one now that I've kind of learned some technique and uh, see if we can get this big rock busted up here.
Well, all right, guys, we got a bunch done. We got pretty much all the holes done, right, yep. Joe? Yeah, all the ones that I wanted to, yep. Um, so our last one was over here, and of course it was giving us trouble, but we got it down pretty deep. As you can see, Joe has quite a bit of rock on his property, but there was a stretch there where we probably did like six or seven holes with like no problem. This, this one was surprising. I'm surprised being so close to the to the oak tree. Yeah. This one went right down. This no one went all the way down. You can see down in there. And we got them, you know, going all along here. Now, the, the one benefit to the way that Joe's doing this fence is he's building it by himself. Um, not like ordering panels or anything. So he can kind of pick and choose the distances based on where the holes were and you know where we were able to drill down yeah, versus you're not, not. You're not getting eight foot on center on in this part. Yeah, so some of these we weren't able to get down at all even with the rock hammer. Uh, the rock hammer definitely worked pretty well over here for those first two I was working a long time on. But uh, basically, it, all except for like one hole, we were able to get everything done. We ran into some issues with the rental equipment, go figure. Uh, hydraulic lines were broken, fittings were broken. We had to take the lines off of this and swap them over to the rock hammer and back and forth, but we made it work. We got it done. So this is uh, Joe's fence that he did last year and should. Thank you to Jake. Thank you to Balmalite. Yeah, the Balmalite works pretty good. Joe's going to play around with it. Yeah, I'm going to use it tomorrow. Make a bunch of noise on Sunday. Yeah, perfect. Easter Sunday. <laughs> so. Hey guys, what's going on? Just a quick update. Look at this wall. See how that bad boy's coming out. No cement. This is all just done. Placing the stones. But I don't know if Jake is going to show the video that I just filmed, but I pulled this huge boulder out of the hillside over here. The thing was buried in dirt and vines and everything else. Balmalite picked it up and we were able to place it down. Hold on. Hey! Quiet down over there, girls. And we placed it down very gently on the wall. We did we did these last three huge stones here and this really tightened up the wall. It's, those things aren't going anywhere. This thing is solid now. No way I was ever gonna be able to do that by hand. So we used the Balmalite. 
with this Martach. I don't know what they call this. I think Jake was calling it a, like a um, material grapple, but man, this thing is great at just pinching the rocks and moving them around. So quick little update for you guys. Bama Light and Dude Ranch DIY taking out the trash. So guys, that's gonna wrap this one up. Let's a little something different. Um, thought I'd show you guys the capabilities of this Bama Light. Um, you know, yeah, it's not an excavator with a huge rock hammer. Definitely takes some time, but you know, if that's the equipment that you got, it's a hell of a lot cheaper than having somebody come in with a full-size excavator and rock hammer. Uh, so, as always guys, if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, click that subscribe button down below. Questions, comments, feedback, drop a, a comment down in the comments section. Be sure to go check out these mini skid steers on bombalite.com. It's the TRL620D. Um, and that's it. So, thanks as always for watching. We'll see you here next time.